Good morning and Good welcome morning. to <laughs> yes. Coffee with welcome. Kim. Welcome. <laughs> so, uh, as you're becoming more accustomed to see, I have my lovely bride, Dr. <laughs> April Brown, with us, and the general manager of Destiny Global, Mr. Butch McCracken. And uh, today is a selective day because we're we're going to be talking about design your life and you know there's kind of 10 areas that we focus on in the teachings here but one of them today that we're going to be talking about is one that I've been working on really this last year and it's the one surrounding fun and adventure because quite frankly my <laughs> beloved here told me that I am funny but not fun so this last year I've been working more diligently on is he going to let me defend myself? <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth of the matter, she's probably right, because as a Ruby, I have a tendency of getting my list going, and I have multiple lists, as we had talked about actually at the training at First <laughs> Steps not very long ago, is I have, and Carmen nailed me with this one, is I have a list for home, and I have a list for work, and that's a separate list because they don't cross, because the different people over here aren't at home to help me at home. I wish that maybe I could use them. Chris, do you do windows? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm only kidding. Well, the truth of the matter is is really designing your life is getting getting your priorities straight is the key message behind that. But fun and adventure is really important. It's one of the things I just wanted to kind of talk about today. So I'll now allow you <laughs> to give you. your position on fun and adventure in the Brown household. Because you have gotten so much better. Thank yes, you. he's been working on this. He's been working on having a lot more fun and adventure. So we um, have gone hiking normally. He would not have gone hiking, and he, we you've enjoyed it. I I did enjoy it. Yeah, I have enjoyed it. It's been fun. But we we plan it out. Like you don't do if you're not a fun and adventure person, <laughs> you just don't do it spontaneously. No. So you have to. Mm plan it out you have to put it into your schedule and your party so we do sit down and we work out things that we want to do for fun we still have um a few lists that we were gonna do this year um like go fly fishing we want to learn how to fly fish and go fly fishing so we might get that done maybe before the end of the year maybe it might be next year but we'll trying see, to find time. a good place that we can go fly fishing. So mm -hmm. those kind of things that we talk about what we would both enjoy doing and that we could do together. And we've done things with our friends. Yes. <laughs> Which and Diane, we've had some we have fun had and some adventures. international fun <laughs> right here in Kerrville. Exactly. You know? Or Fredericksburg we went. Or uh, Fredericksburg. Hold on, but remind me of what are you talking about? The um, experiences yeah. that we did. So give us mm -hmm. a little insight on what, remind us of what we did. Oh, we went outside and picked cactus and ate it. I mean, we, <laughs> <laughs> now we learned it's, how to. There's plenty of it. In, there was other stuff in too. In our hill country. Yes. You can find it anywhere. The thorns were tough to get around, but <laughs> we managed. Um, oh my goodness. No, but it, it was a good, uh, you know, mm -hmm. she streamed right in from, I think, Mexico City. Right she from did. her home yeah. in Mexico, and she did. We bought the ingredients, and then we we went and we. Mm -hmm. She taught us how to to make it. It was a lot of fun, and it was yeah. delicious too. And we made a sandwich. Sandwiches. Learn how to make a real sandwich, oh, and what yes. really constitutes a sandwich. Yeah. Well, so. a hoagie versus a sub. Versus, <laughs> there's all these debates, and we met with the guy that. Uh, makes subs professionally for people in New York and, City and teaches in, in them how to make them at home so so what we're talking about is actually on Airbnb they have experiences and you can go in there and they're they really don't cost that much some of them can mm -hmm. be a little expensive but right. some don't cost that much so finding things that you can do you could do the experiences on Airbnb or you could but just sitting down and finding what you both like to do right or things that the other person might like to do but you are like saying you know let's make this fun we can make it fun right. even if it's not sure. something that you so figure out how to make it fun for both of you yeah no that's that's very true and you have done you have done well at that and finding things because if you notice both of these experiences that butch mentioned revolve around food <laughs> So Food is that's a fun. fun. Butch <laughs> will <laughs> even eat cactus <laughs> with the thorns on it. Actually, we had prickly pear butch, but um, but what is your saying that nothing that says loving like something from the oven? Amen. 
<laughs> so it's so that's, true. That's the motto, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to tell a little <laughs> bit on Butch. So Danny came in the office a bit oh. earlier, and Butch had been outside picking pecans. And so he tried to give Danny the pecans, and she said, I collected these for you because I know if I give these to you, you're going to make me a pecan pie. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I, I tried. And, and she said, no. I said, well, there's something else you teach is that the average person can't say no more than seven <laughs> times. So I said, can we go to number eight? She oh, still didn't scared. bite. So no. said, I'm not giving up. So. And then Butch said he was going to leave little clumps of, 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 of cheese, cream cheese on her door. Yeah. Seven to make cheesecake. Of, that's right. <laughs> oh I got to try. I, it's just, yeah. You're so. very persistent. So. Very persistent. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, you know, can one of the, one of the, yeah, definitely. We talk about the, the fun part. So back in March, Diane and I met at a local restaurant um, for a couple hours. And we were discussing, we said, you know, we've been married 28 years. We're not fun. We don't do anything for fun, right? We just work. We come home. We get up, we go to work. So we both determined what would we like to do. So we went and bought motorcycles. Now, I'm 55 and I've never ridden a motorcycle, but I've always wanted to. And she's been riding them since she was 18. So we went and purchased motorcycles. And now we go out for rides through the hill country, but we'll just, you know, you have to sit down and, and mm -hmm. plan out the fun, but also determine that we're not fun and it's okay to mm -hmm. say that. So, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So. But you're funny too. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm funny but not fun? Well, <laughs> what I found that fun and adventure mm -hmm. does is is it causes us it causes connection. Mm -hmm. yeah. But so really, what it was for me is learning more of what she liked to do. Just in when when I wasn't around, they say, "What do you do when I'm not here? Or I'm at work, or you're." She said, well, I like to go hiking. I like to walk down to the river, all these different things. And I said, well, I like to do some of those things. Mm -hmm. And so then planning them together is just enrich things that we would normally not do, but we both like to do. And mm -hmm. that's kind of rediscovering. It really of. raises, I mean, I think a lot of people, especially we have stagnant, stagnant lifestyles that, um, that need to get out and have more walking, more hiking, all of those things, and we need to put it into our plan right. and our schedule. It really, I think it will eliminate getting sunshine. It all right. eliminates mm -hmm. how, how much depression that we have in our country, especially with everything that's, yes. everything being shut down. And so it, it really shows you how important it is to make sure that you're doing those activities that get you, get your blood going mm -hmm. and, and, but give you fun and adventure as well, because right. it really raises your mindset and your mind. It clears your mind. It actually can clear your mind. So for it's sure, important. It, no, it does. Absolutely. It changes. In fact, you know, now what we do every night is a part of our, and you know, mm -hmm. what's interesting is something that before we would do occasionally, we do much more frequently, and that is um, after we got sick is learning to just take walks together mm -hmm. and um, just enjoying those and with taking mm -hmm. the dog sometimes, but when we, well, actually most of the time, and, when, and you have taught Windsor not to drag you, which is very good. I have a very <laughs> large dog. So there's a lot of benefits to this, but mm -hmm. the, the one thing is, is just that connection time because then it's in a time that you can actually feel the emotion and here's the thing but when we were sick we were having to measure our our heart rate and oxygen and all that right. stuff and after i would walk my heart rate would drop which means it has a calming effect and it also it's just a time of calming and connection mm -hmm. and, and really just sharing together so i've yeah. come to really appreciate that so yeah and who thought a walk could be fun but it is uh, the reality of it is just spending spending time together doing whatever it is, but it's it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, enjoying the time yeah. together and and enjoying doing the things that before mm -hmm. I would look at a task. Oh, I've got to go do this mm -hmm. or do that. And now I look at it as, hey, we really get to spend time mm -hmm. together, um, and it's it's intentional. Yeah, and I'm wondering how many people are saying that when they hear us say this. I don't have time for that. <laughs> we have time for the things we want and that we plan right. for. So we have to look at our schedules. We have to look at our calendars, and we have to schedule it into our time um, for the month, like the month before, you know, making yeah. sure that you, you put that stuff in that you want for your life and how to design your own life, what you mm -hmm. want. 
because who wants to get to retirement and say that's when I'm going to have fun and adventure? It's yeah. the journey what yeah. we're we're on of life. You're totally, one hundred percent. I was at the gym this morning and uh, cleaning up after, and g- elderly gentleman came in with a cane, and uh, we got talking somehow, and uh, and I mentioned him how I'm you know fifty five or something, and he goes, yeah, I just turned eighty, and he said, uh, I wish I'd have started this thirty years ago. That's mm-hmm. when I should have done this. And maybe it's not so much exercise. And I said, look at this gym. Mm-hmm. It's empty. You're here, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're doing it. So right. y- mm-hmm. you have to be intentional yeah. and in the, what you do. Where I've learned this, and I, it, it changed my life. I mean, like first steps to success was like one thing. And I got a lot of skill from that. But really creating a dynasty was where it started for me to really be able to mm. design my life how I want it. Yeah. And be so intentional because it gives you all the skills for how to set your time, like really mm-hmm. set your calendar. I mean, things that I just, I mean, I've heard in, uh, you know, in different mm-hmm. ways before, but this really made it, put it, the pieces together for how I want to decide my life that I have to be intentional with it yeah, and what I put in my calendar and my time. Yeah, it's true because really what that amounts to is priorities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're designing your life, you're really listing out what you want to do and the priorities that you want to accomplish and just make sure that you're hitting them and and hitting them with the people that you want, right? Because Mm -hmm. designing your your life involves surrounding yourself with the people that you want to be around. And that's That's really what I'm, Mm -hmm. you know, where I'm at at my point in life is I'm going to choose who I want to work with and who I want to hang out with. And, you know, really involved with the community, like all of you that are watching right now. And thank you for doing so, by the way. But it's really Mm -hmm. it's being intentional about even doing that and connecting Mm -hmm. um, virtually and and by phone and every other way. And when we get together in person, all those things are valuable. But uh, you're right. Creating a dynasty forces a a level of thought. Um, It's just, as you said, intentional. It -hmm. is intentionally what we're going to do and then working and putting habits in your life to accomplish those things. And that's what the biggest change for me has been. It's not just doing it once. You know, as a Ruby, I just you kind of look at a checklist. Well, I did that once. Check. I'm done. No, it's mm-hmm. actually realizing that it's, it's something recurring and uh, something that I value now. So thank you for that. And thank mm. you for so helping true. me become more fun. It's, um, the other thing, too, is what you're talking about is support one another. You know, mm-hmm. yes, for yourself, but also realize plenty of times Diane will say to me, you need to go out for a run. Or why don't mm-hmm. you go take a bike ride? Or, you know, what have you? How have you unplugged lately? Because she'll see mm-hmm. certain times, getting to know me after so many years, support one another. Right. It's mm-hmm. okay to say to your your spouse, go do something, go have fun together, or right. whatever is enjoyable for them, because mm-hmm. you yeah. know it helps them. And sometimes we don't see it ourselves. We get so caught up in tasks and so forth. Mm-hmm. We need someone to say time out. You know, mm-hmm. uh, what about Absolutely. you? Absolutely. So yeah. Well. I love that. I have another special announcement to make. I know that it's Mm -hmm. already been put out on social media, but Miss Danny Johnson will be live in studio, sitting right about where we're sitting, a little closer and on her sofa that she (laughs) loves so much. But on Tuesday, November 2nd at 7 p.m., she's going to be coming live to you. Um, Mm -hmm. Her heart has been moved by several things that's going on, and really what I'm going to call it is a talk on wisdom and where wisdom and faith collide. And just where she's looking and where she's obviously been talking about numerous things that we're seeing today. She's been talking about for years and you're actually watching that come um, into fruition or actually watching, you know, some of these things that have been uh, devastated that she's talking about. And you're Mm -hmm. starting to see them happen. And so getting herself totally prepared for what's coming and um, making sure that you're staying plugged in, connected and the things and staying close to people that encourage you just as Butch talked about yeah. and for you to encourage each other because there's just nothing more important right now in this world is to encourage those around you and so with that said I want to encourage you to get to Dynasty mm-hmm. I want to encourage mm-hmm. you to be on this uh, it's going to be on Facebook Live coming to you November the 2nd at 7 p.m. and um, Central Standard Time yep. yes it is Central yeah. Standard Time good old Texas mm-hmm. time yeah uh, that's what all time is I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. it's uh, so United yeah, States so of Texas yeah. United States of Texas but uh, thank you all for joining mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. wish you much fun and adventure yes. plan your things go do yes. something mm-hmm. um, you know what the other thing I'd mention is you know getting you to take little hiatuses and yeah. take away and go recharge yourself because there's 
There yeah. is a lot of stress on families, and just allowing yourself to do that. Go have fun. Yes. And Whatever guess that looks what? Like. What? We have something exciting next week. Um, somebody who is super fun, super adventurous. We're going to have her here next week. I'm excited about that, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Tune in. So, oh, I guess show up. <laughs> I'll be here. Yeah. there's an old time, same bat time, same mm-hmm. bat station. We'll see you next week at this time. Have a great mm-hmm. day, and thank you for joining us with Coffee with Ken. Thank you. See ya. Bye. <laughs>